Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. And I'm Heidi Alaga, only on Kega 9. He's the man who popularized the Sonoran hot dog in Tucson, and he's now saying thank you to the city for their support. That's right. Daniel Contreras, Mr. El Huero Canelo, is back working after a major health scare and a 40-day stay in the hospital. Hola. That was Daniel Contreras saying hello from a rehabilitation facility after spending more than a month in intensive care at Banner UMC. I'm a miracle, miracle, miracle. This is Daniel Contreras 10 weeks later. You're making me hungry. He's back making his famous El Huero Canelo Sonoran hot dogs after a six foot fall in his driveway left him with eight broken ribs and a broken clavicle. But it was complications from those injuries that caused a life-threatening lung issue. For 34 days, with his wife and three kids at his side, Contreras says he battled. He credits the doctors and staff at Banner. So they saved my life. For most of his stay in the hospital, he was unaware of the outpouring of support from the Tucson community. But the man who popularized the Sonoran hot dog in Tucson in 1993 tells me the prayers from his friends and loyal customers were answered. And thank you, Tucson. I mean... Right now, you know, I'm a, I'm a few, almost 100%. Don't forget the bacon. While he's back working three to four hours a day at his two Tucson restaurants, he has decided to slow down. God is trying to tell me, hey, you better just stick it easy, man. <laughs> Contreras is 63 and now has a plan for retirement. He wants to oversee the construction of a new building at his third location on South 12th Avenue. And by December, he will hand over all three restaurants to his kids who have already stepped in to help the last few months. I don't have to be in the front of stage anymore. Yep. And they can run the business. Yep. They already proved it to me. Contreras admits it'll be hard to step back, but he and his wife are ready. He says they plan to travel around Arizona, and he thanks those who he says helped him with his miraculous recovery. Glad to see you. Thank you, Tucson. And Daniel says the third location will be open this fall and then he'll retire by December. That's the plan. I mean, what a recovery. <laughs> he looks so different, but so I, yeah. healthy. And, and I don't think we knew exactly why he was in intensive care. It was the lungs that uh, he had issues with, and that really kept him out of it for about 30 plus wow. days. He didn't he only knew that his family was there. That's all he knew. I think he nailed it when he said, you know, sometimes God gives you a sign that it's time to it's slow time down. It's time to slow yeah. down, and we can all appreciate that. And uh, now he'll get an opportunity so he can retire. That is awesome. Good that he is back and well, and yep. we are so happy.